Okay, today we're going to try to see a very simple skill in RTI Inspire. What we're going to try to do is once that we are given an equation or a function, we're going to try to produce the table from it. Now, this is very important that you understand that you are, will be only allowed to do this once that you have the equation or function. Okay, so as crazy as this might seem for many of you, to, uh, for you to be able to produce a table, we're going to have to start by producing a graph. So you can arrow to either your app, of your graphing app, or you can just with your cursor select. So this is where you will be launched, obviously, to have a graph. So the first thing that you need to do, like I said before, is put in your equation or function. In this case, if you do not have it, you will not be able to do this. Something else that I want to point out is that you have to use the function form of your equation. If you use any other like relation, etc., this will not work. So let's just get to it. Let's say that the, the function that I have today is 2x to the second power minus 3, just like that. All that you have to do is press enter, and obviously you will be seeing your graph. But again, what we want to see is actually our table. So what I'm going to ask you to do is to go to menu right here. And then look at option 7. It says table. And then you have this option right here split screen. Now there is a uh, shortcut to this. I just prefer not to use them uh, for per because I think that always going to the menu gives me a better idea of what is it that I need to do. So to just do that. And this is what will be very important to you. Don't forget that one on one side you have your graph and then the screen split for you to see your table now. The first column, this column right here, will always be your x. So if you just arrow up, going up this way, you will see that, yes, you can have as many x or y values, sorry, x values that you want. And then on the other side, this column right here, you have x1 of x. So this is pretty much your function, you 2x to the second power minus 3. This is what... This is, this is just reminding you, in a way, of your uh, function. So this, you can arrow up and down to see all your function values or y values as well. One of the advantages of your calculator is that you are able to uh, graph many functions at the same time. There are many ways to do this. So for example, the easiest one is just you're going to have to click back into your graph part. So now you are in the graphing section, let's put it that way, and you select tab. This, like always, it lets you put any other graph, sorry, function. You can go up, modify the one that you have before. But in this case, we're going to put a different one. Let's do negative 2x plus y. So you see how now you have two functions, your first function which was 2x to the second power minus 3, and then your first function. Now, why is that important for the table purposes? Because if I go here, up here, you will be able to see both tables at the same time. Something that is very useful here is that you are able to see the, the tables, the functions, in different colors, not only in your graph, but in your table as well. So don't forget, this column will still be the x value for both of your functions. This will be the y or function value for your first function. This will be the y or function value for your second function. That's the way they will work. But before I, I go, I want to show you one more thing. Let's say that for some reason you want to modify one of these. You don't want to start all over again. Or in this case, even add a third function. It is very important that you remember that this is the only uh, cell that you can uh, select. You will have to select it twice though. So I click on it once, then you click again. Then now you can see your new, uh, sorry brother, you can see your equation. You just can delete it and just put a new equation. Let's say that we wanted to do negative x to the second power plus 3. 
there you go. So now you have your new equation. Notice how immediately the graph as well as the table were changed. I hope you find this very helpful.